start feeling a little bit anxious, definitely. Anything from here on is going to be a bonus for us. We definitely know we're the underdogs. That is a big game, just for the sheer fact, obviously, winner goes to the semi-finals of the Victorian uh, Doherty Cup, and then obviously, um, I think it's the first Victorian team that gets uh, qualified for the FFA Cups. Before the season kicked off, um, we, we did set one of our goals that if the FFA Cup uh, did come to fruition, that we wanted to get as far, we obviously wanted to qualify and then try and get as far as possible in it. And yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely looking forward to tonight. I just hope it's going to be a good contest, not something that's going to be belittle us, but I don't think so. I think the boys are ready for it. Well, this is the game of South Springvale's history. They faced off against MPL opposition before and come out on top. Can they do it one more time against Hume City and get themselves into the Doherty Cup semi-finals and earn a spot in the FFA Cup? We'll find out tonight in this Wednesday night clash at Olympic Village in Heidelberg with your commentator, Taya Pelizzeri. Franjic at halfway, passing down the right. Neat move from Hume, too good. Finds Tosseski. 10 metres from the area, turns onto his left and flashes it wide of the left post. A good early warning shot from Hume. Tosseski loading up. Missed in the air, FA. And high attempting clearance. Hume can't get it on the deck, and now Grin passes to Panagopoulos. Tries to slip through a ball, but Tosseski is there to hook it away. Intercepted though. Ten possession, Metcalf gets it to Florea, hits the left byline and crosses high. Too close to the bar and it goes out for a goal. My clearance for Springbank into the attacking half. Taken by Panagopoulos, hits it down the right-hand side. Rusheppi, back pass, Alexandro, caught in possession, it's 1-0! South Springvale in front and they've got a gift! Well, Ali Hamid has taken the ball off Alexandro's feet and it is South Springvale 1, Hume City 0 and the underdogs have taken a surprise lead early in this cup game. It was charity from the Hume City keeper, lost the ball in his possession and followed in for the opening goal. Throwing for Springvale into their attacking half. Dashing run, coming through down the right hand side from Grin. Turns his back to goal. Now to split R. Tries to weave through and he goes down. And the Hume defenders there, all pretty confident that he was trying to con the referee. It's split R there. He was uh, putting a bit of mustard on it. And the referee waves it away. Ball down the left hand side for South Springvale. Growing in confidence since taking the lead. Anagopoulos found Lakavakis, but now he's trapped back to goal, being closely guarded. Throws the ball out, from right next to the corner, edge of the area, bouncing, not dealt with. Skladar is at the top of the box and he sends it wide of the right-hand post. But South Springvale opening up, becoming more expansive now that they've got the lead. Tony Pesetto in possession now for Hume City. That's one challenge, passes to Tuseski. Gets it back with the help of the deflection. Bassetto, five metres from the top of the area. Over to the right-hand side. Still shooting chance here. Blocked away from Cristaldo. Now it comes back into the area. Bassetto again, crunched by two defenders. Too good arrives. And that one goes wide of the right-hand post. I've taken a deflection out for a corner, but Johnny Bassetto, small in stature, but the real playmaker of this Hume City team, causing all sorts of headaches for South Springvale there. Aerial battle over the halfway line. And now Damianos is going to flick it on. And South Springvale with Hamid rolling his man, going round another, shooting from the top of the area. 2 0 South Springvale. There may have been a bit of fortune to the first one, but that was a moment of brilliance from Ali Hamid. And South Springvale, this is more than just an upstart. Now they might be heading to the FFA Cup.
Rusheppi at left back for an option. He's going to turn and play it short. F.A. now to the centre of defence. South Springvale pressing up. They're forced to turn over. Damianos, Panagopoulos, top of the area. Great save by Alexandro. Tipping it over the bar and a third goal. Well, they might have been out of sight, South Springvale. Hume City toying with danger, passing out of defence and nearly paying the price. Free kick on the right flank for Hume. It's going to be an in-swinger. High and the keeper gets up, punching it away. Down for, out for a corner. To Seski over the free kick. And he's going to play it to the left-hand side. Turgut, out of FA. Cuts onto his right, into the area. Johnny Bassetto goes left, cleared away. And Hume will retain possession. And will turn it into the attacking half. Trying to turn up the heat here on South Springvale. High cross in from the right, down by Skladar, still with Teseski, five metres from the top of the area, sea of legs, and now a big challenge comes in, and it is going to be a Hume City free kick after Cardozo was legged about two metres from the top of the box. Teseski over the free kick, as is Cardozo. Teseski shooting and putting it over. Harmless in the end. Ball on the left-hand side. Going for a little bit of a run for Mead. The two-goal man on a hat-trick tonight. Turns it over on this occasion. Long clearance from Rusheppi. Bassetto battling to keep it in. And now the Springvale man goes to ground. Bassetto, edge of the area, crossing into the box. And Cardozo, it hits the bar and goes out. He hit it on the half volley and couldn't keep it down. What a chance for Hume. And that could have been a lifeline back into the tie. Instead, Cardozo watches it go over the bar. Bassetto. Takes the ball in midfield, left footed pass, Cardozo might be away here, runs onto the through ball and he's legged, Florea brought him down. He wasn't the last man, but it is a free kick right at the top of the area. Cardozo arguing his case and the referee has paid the free kick. Cardozo, five in the wall, hits it, through the wall, and it's held by Rani Doughton. A great save by the former victory backup, and the wall there didn't do its job. Rusheppi with a long free kick high into the attacking half. Flick header on, falls in the area, volley comes through and it's another great save from Doucher. And on this occasion he's denying Cristaldo. South Springvale sweeping away. Cristaldo hit it with great technique but Rani Doucher is keeping Hume at bay here and South Springvale still with a two goal cushion. On halfway, Skladar playing the ball to Hamid. He's got a few metres here on the right. First time ball, top of the area. Defensive touch. It's going to fall to Panagopoulos. And Alexandro holds the save. A third will kill the tie from here, you suspect. And South Springvale still dangerous on the break. Long throw for Hume. Rusheppi flicks it on. Into the penalty area. South Springvale clearing away. Now a chance again to break. Panagopoulos back to goal. Laid it off. Grin trying to build. To the left-hand side. Now a long ball over the top. For the races, Grin is there. Turning right foot into the area, trying to curl it to the top right corner. But it did hold up and easily held in the end by Alexandro. Hamid on the ball, still looking so dangerous. Grin on the left, overlapping. Back in board, Hamid over to the right hand side now. Panagopoulos is there. Being stood up by FA, puts the shot in, and that one is held by Alexandro. Can't be long until the final whistle now. We've played two minutes of stoppage time and the South Springvale fans are getting vocal. They still lead 2-0. High bouncing ball in the middle. All eyes on the referee. Grin, running it out to the right-hand side. Plays a little ball. Iaconis is there, chipping over the top. It takes a bounce. It falls in. 3-0 to South Springvale. And the youngster, 17-year-old Damien Iaconis, is sending South Springvale to the FFA Cup. Show me the way to water reserve is what all the A-League teams are going to be saying. South Springvale are into the FFA Cup and into the semi-finals of the Doherty Cup.
Well, Florea was sent off and Hume City now kicking off. I think it's going to matter that South Springvale are down a man here. Ball on the left-hand side. Attempt cross, top of the area, cleared away. And the referee had the whistle up to the mouth. They're still going to keep playing. Ball out to the left-hand side now. The fans just want the whistle to go. And there it is! South Springvale 3, Hume City 0. South Springvale are going to the FFA Cup. The biggest win, arguably, in the club's history. What a night for this team from the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. All right, Bill, 3-0 uh, win. Did you expect that coming here? No, no one expected that tonight. Definitely, definitely we believed in ourselves. There's no doubt about that. We knew as time went on and the zero kept going that it would be in our favour. At half time, we were fortunate enough to have two goals put away. It's probably an opportunity there maybe to have had a third. We were, we were beside ourselves. Going inside, I said to the boys, it's not a score that I like in my 20 years of coaching. I know teams can turn that around, especially at this level. I see it depends on how much you want it, guys, and how many less mistakes you make. And the boys kept their shape. They did what they had to do out there. And obviously, as the dynamics came, they tried to get a goal back. We, we, we finished it with the third goal. Um, Louis, a 3-0 defeat to South Springvale. Is it tough to take? Oh, look, uh, any loss is tough to take, but uh, it's not the fact that we lost, it's the manner of the way, the, the manner of the loss where, um, you know, look, not taking nothing away from South Springvale, we were disgusting tonight. We were actually uh, an embarrassing football team. Um, you know, they, they wanted it more than us. Um, they wanted to go through to the next round more than us. They were hungry, determined, motivated, driven for success. Um, and we just uh, we were very, very weak as uh, weak as characters. So you're through to the FA Cup. How does that feel to know that you could be facing a giant, a real giant? Well, I think the boys will will probably cherish the moment more than myself. I mean, I'm 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 beside myself that they've put themselves in this themselves in this position. We're more than happy to to confront this situation. It's not going to be an easy an easy ride. We know, but. You know, historically we've put ourselves in the books for this. I mean, it's a proud moment. Whatever happens from here, well, you know, we have to be we have to be happy with that. Does it hurt to get so close to the FA Cup? And yeah, of course, of course. You know, it's in it's in your grasp. It's in your it's in, you can touch it, sort of thing. Um, great opportunity for everybody at the club, all the players. Um, you know, it's advertised, marketed Australia wide, and I just said to the boys in there. Uh, you know, it's where every footballer wants to play at the biggest stage possible and that was a great opportunity for them to do that. Um, they let themselves down, so, you know, we've got no one to blame but ourselves. Anything you wanna, you're hoping to get? I've got no idea. I haven't even given it any thought. I really haven't understood how mammoth this is this moment. I think as I go home and I have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, I might just sit down and reflect and have a, f a few phone calls from some friends and, and have a bit of a laugh about it. But I think it's, it's, it's a proud day for South Springvale.